God bless you on this Wednesday, March the 6th, 2024. Welcome to this brief service of prayer and meditation emanating from St. John African Methodist Episcopal Church in Cleveland, Ohio. I am Henry Curtis, pastor of St. John, and it is a joy to share with you once again today. As always, I pray that you are safe and well. Time is marching on, dear friends, as we now begin the fourth week in Lent. During these 40 days, not counting Sunday, we journey with Jesus to the cross of Calvary. For it is on the cross that Jesus is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Jesus died so that we might live. Let us begin with a call to worship. Let us worship God who has done great things. Let us rejoice in our God who has made a way through the desert of this world. Let us worship God who has caused streams of mercy to flow in wasteland places. For we are the people God has formed through Christ. We can choose this day to worship him and to rejoice. I invite you this day to give unto God all you are. Let us worship in spirit and in truth, with all our heart, mind, body, and soul. Let us praise God for the grace that continues to save us. Let us worship and rejoice. Our collect today comes from the Book of Common Prayer. Shall we pray? Almighty God, who seest that we have no power of ourselves to keep ourselves, keep us both outwardly in our bodies and inwardly in our souls, that we may be defended from all adversaries which may happen to the body and from all evil thoughts which may assault and hurt the soul. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who liveth and reigneth with thee and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Our prayer of confession is an act of contrition. Shall we pray? O oh my God, I am heartily sorry for having offended thee, and I detest all my sins because of thy just punishments. But most of all, because they offend thee, my God, who art all good and deserving of all my love. I firmly resolve, with the help of thy grace, to sin no more and to avoid the near occasion of sin. Amen. Let us now pray our personal and private prayers of confession to Almighty God. Let us pray in silence. Receive the assurance of pardon. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Our scripture lesson today comes from Ephesians chapter 3, verses 14 through 19. Hear the word of the Lord. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with might through his Spirit in the inner man, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have power to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ, which surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. 
Our key verse today is Ephesians 3 and 17. And that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. Let us pray. Lord, speak to me that I may speak in living echoes of thy tone. As thou hast sought, so let me seek thine erring children lost and lone. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. In Christ's holy name we pray. Amen. Think of the finest hotel or resort where you once stayed. Or maybe you visit a family member or friend who has a fabulous home. I'm sure you enjoyed the hospitality and appreciated the surroundings. You may have even dreamed of having a place like that of your own. Or if it was a vacation destination, at least you desire to return again in the not so distant future. But regardless of how fabulous the guest accommodations were, the fact remains you were a guest. The place where you stayed was temporary and more importantly, it was not yours. Now let's be honest, dear friends, when it is all said and done, and all the visions of grandeur have left your mind, you were glad to return home. Even though you stayed at a fabulous place, even though the accommodations were great and the scenery was pristine, when you turned the key in your own home and slept in your own bed, there was nothing better. Why? Because there's nothing better than dwelling in the place that is yours. The author of Ephesians tells us that Jesus makes our hearts his dwelling place. In our key verse, verse 17, the author says, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love. To be sure, Jesus could have had his pick of places to stay. Jesus chose to dwell in our hearts. The Bible says where Jesus is quoted as saying, birds of the air have nests, foxes have holes, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Jesus lived an itinerant life. He traveled from place to place without a permanent residence to call his own. But Jesus does take up a permanent residence according to the author of Ephesians, and that residence is in our hearts. Unlike when we check into a hotel or spend a few nights as a guest with family members or friends, Jesus is not a guest in our hearts. Rather, through our faith, Jesus is a permanent resident. He wants to be there and he desires to be nowhere else. And when we compare our lesson today to the Gospel of John, we're reminded in John the first chapter and the 14th verse, and the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as the only Son from the Father. Jesus came to dwell among us and to live within us. And when you look at this word dwell in the original Greek, it really means to pitch or to live in a tent. This flesh, dear friends, in which we live is but a mere tent. It is not permanent. One day it will wear out and one day it will no longer be of any use to us. On Ash Wednesday a few weeks ago, we were reminded that we have come from dust and to dust we shall return. But I have good news for you today. Jesus 
is eternal. And because Jesus is eternal, he takes up permanent residence in our hearts and he fills our mind, our body, and our soul with his presence and more importantly, his love. Jesus has no desire to leave us for something better, but he's committed to dwelling in and among us. And in so doing, when this tent is no longer functional, through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we gain a new home, not made by human hands, but eternal in the heavens. Thanks be to God. Amen. Please join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Receive the benediction which comes from the book of Ephesians. Now unto him who by the power and work within us is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen. Please accept this invitation for you to join us here at St. John AME Church on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock here in our sanctuary located at 2261 East 40th Street, Cleveland, Ohio 44103. If you're unable to worship with us in person, we invite you to log on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock to our Facebook channel and then later on this same YouTube channel. If this video has been a blessing to you, please be sure to subscribe to St. John's YouTube channel, to click the thumbs up button, to hit the notification bell so that you may receive notice when we produce new videos, and to share the video with others so that they too will be blessed by God's Word. Thank you so much for being with us today. Have a great rest of the day, a great rest of the week, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Until then, be blessed. Goodbye.